Hey guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital. How do you set up a reviews feed in the Google Merchant Center using a third-party reviews aggregator? So diving straight into this for a second, just to show you what I'm talking about. A reviews feed are these five stars that appear at the bottom of specifically shopping listings and obviously look really good on the front end. So how do you set these up? We're gonna go through that in this video. And there are two essentially aspects to this. So the first is the product ratings program, which is basically a way of sharing reviews across multiple products sold by other retailers that obviously have the same um, or are the same products, so have the same GTIN value. So let's say you are a distributor and you were selling these shoes. If you don't have any reviews to import into the merchant center yourself, you can have other um, retailers reviews reflected on your listings given that the product that you're selling is the same which is a really quick and easy way to have a huge number of reviews reflected on your shopping listings almost immediately so i'm going to show you that to start off with and then i'm also going to show you how to import your own reviews into the merchant center that you would have collected on your website through some sort of third-party review aggregator which again especially when you're selling your own products is an awesome way to improve the you know the front end sorry the front end appeal of your ad and your product so starting off with the product ratings program we're going to need to set this up first and i'd always recommend that you set this up so go into the merchant center go to growth go to manage programs and scroll all the way down to the bottom to product ratings down over here so hit get started and it'll take you to a new sheet and we're gonna to need to fill in this specific form over here. So the first thing to tick is yes, but I'd like to submit uh, the feed from a supported reviews aggregator. Uh, we're gonna then select physical and or digital products. And then do you have 50 reviews? Ideally, you need 50, a minimum of 50 reviews to uh, push into the merchant center. Generally speaking, most brands will have more than 50 reviews. So just hit yes. And then from there, you'll need to fill out all of this information. So firstly, your merchant name, that'll obviously be the name of your, or sorry, the direct name that is reflected in the merchant center over here. So unfortunately this will be blurred out, but this, uh, or your, your, your merchant name that appears over here, that needs to directly match what you place in this merchant name section here. The merchant center account ID, that must directly match this number that's up at the top here. Then next step, homepage URL. Obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. That's your homepage URL, um, paste that in there. Then the contact name or the contacts, first name, last name and email address. And then don't select either one of these. Just leave this blank. You don't have to fill this in and then hit submit. So I've just filled in all of these details. Once you've done that, hit submit and that should send that in for approval. So your email has been sent, you can now head out of there, and it should take a little while for the product ratings to be approved, and this little button down here will change from get started to, it'll change from get started to enabled, like this example client over here. Then from here, I'm just gonna take you through the rest of the process that we'll need to set up to, um, push our own reviews into the merchant center. So we first need to enable customer reviews. So up or just scrolling scrolling up slightly in the manage program section, you'll see customer reviews over here. We're gonna to need to enable this. So just hit enable there. You need to obviously read through all of that, then just hit I've read it and agree to this agreement at the bottom, save and continue. And that yeah, that should be that. So don't worry about any of this. If you want to push reviews directly into the Merchant Center through some sort of Google integration, you can use this, um, but most brands use a third-party review aggregator, which I'd highly recommend, because when you collect your reviews through a third-party reviews aggregator, you cannot, or, or you know, if you had to collect them through just the Merchant Center, um, those reviews can only be, be reflected in the Merchant Center. If you collect them through a third-party uh, aggregator, you can have those reviews reflected on your website, you can have them reflected on your merchant center accounts, um, you can have them reflected pretty much anywhere. 
even on Facebook in some circumstances. So I'd highly, highly, highly recommend using a reviews aggregator. Um, and the reviews aggregator that I'd recommend is Judge Me. We're obviously not affiliated with these guys at all, um, but this is probably one of the own, sorry, probably one of the only uh, reviews aggregators that are um, free to use and collect reviews with. Most of the other review aggregators are exceptionally expensive. As you can see, they've got a huge number of rev reviews themselves. Um, and just for reference, I've used this on, on countless clients with no issues at all. Just to go through this, this again, so um, you can collect reviews and have reviews reflected on your website within JudgeMe on the free plan, but you'll need to upgrade to the, pla to the paid plan, which I believe is $15 a month, so nothing crazy, in order to have those reviews reflected in the Merchant Center. So I just thought I'd throw that in there, but for this specific client, um, they're using a different reviews aggregator, which I haven't used before, so we're gonna have to troubleshoot this process and we'll do that live. So anyway, we'll get that to that in a second. Um, once you finish this review setup process, you can now go, okay, you can now go out of here. And in the marketing section, um, once your product ratings program, also once this product ratings feature down here has been enabled, you'll see a tab that'll pop up over here that'll say product reviews. So just to show you on that example brand again, if you go to marketing up over here, you'll see you have promotions, product reviews, and ad campaigns. And this tab only appears once your application to have reviews reflected on your website is approved, um, which obviously this hasn't been the case yet for this specific brand. So you'll need to give this a day or so to, um, or for that tab to pop up. But regardless, I'm just gonna show you how to, or in theory, how to set this up. And then, or in theory, how to set this up on the brand that I've already set this up on. And then I'll obviously finish that setup at a later stage. So from here, we'll need to go over to the Shopify store um, and find your reviews aggregator app. So just go to apps. Um, in this case, I believe they're using reviews.io, which again, I haven't used before, but we'll troubleshoot this live. So generally speaking, there'll be, in all these reviews aggregator apps, there'll be some sort of integration section. Um, so find that, I'm assuming that is here. Um, and essentially we need to find a XML URL that basically creates a reviews feed and we can then paste or copy that URL from the reviews aggregator and paste that URL into the Google Merchant Center and use that URL as the sync between the reviews aggregator and the merchant center. So we'll need to find this. Okay, I can't seem to find this URL in the, um, in reviews.io. Generally speaking, the support teams on these accounts or on these reviews aggregators are normally really good. So my recommendation is to, if you're battling with anything, reach out to support. They should be able to uh, to push you in the, or point you in the right direction. For this case, I'm not gonna use reviews.io. I'm gonna just go through a client that is using a different reviews aggregator called Akendo Reviews, just to show you how this URL process works. So again, go into your Shopify store, go to apps, um, click on your reviews aggregator app, so in this case, a Kendo. Just give that a second to load. So we'll need to go into the Akendo platform, I believe. So that'll open up the actual app itself. Then from here, we're gonna need to find that XML URL again, as I mentioned in reviews.io. So I believe for Kendo, we go to settings, then um, then integrations up here, I believe. And then scroll down to the bottom and you should find, okay, so here, Google Shopping, let's just go into this. Okay, here we go, there's our um, URL. So just ensure that, okay, so specifically for reviews feeds, how the system works is the way the review itself is matched to the product in the merchant center is via the GTIN value. 
So you always want to have the GTIN value from the review uh, or that's associated with the review pushed into the merchant center so that it can effectively be matched with the product in the merchant center itself. So ensure that exclude GTIN values is off. Um, and then we're gonna copy that URL, head back on over to the merchant center. And then from here, you'll, you'll need to go to marketing. So let's just see if we can, okay, anyway, so click on marketing, go to product reviews, then go to reviews feeds. And then this will obviously be empty for your brand because you haven't set up any reviews feed before. Um, click the big plus icon to add a new uh, reviews feed. Let's just call that test reviews feed. Sorry, test review is feed in this example. Um, and we're gonna use the scheduled fetch feature. Uh, we're not gonna upload these reviews manually ourselves. Um, I've almost never been able to get manually uploaded reviews to work correctly in the Merchant Center because they need to be formatted in a very specific way. So if we're using this URL feature, use scheduled fetch, continue. Um, file name, we'll just call this uh, we'll just call this reviews URL uh, test just for this example. Then leave all these the same. So your time, uh, your fetch time. So when you want the feed to resync every day, and then obviously you want that to resync daily. Then that URL that you just copied from the web or from your reviews aggregator, paste that in there. Um, and as you can see, it's an XML feed, which is a data URL. Again, I'm no expert in this, but I believe that's just a data URL, an XML feed. Um, it has to be an XML URL in order for this process to work. That's just one thing I thought I'd throw in there. Then password protected, don't worry about that. And then just hit create feed and that'll create your reviews feed for you. And it'll directly pull all the reviews that have been added into your reviews aggregator. So all the reviews that have been added into your reviews aggregator, it'll push all of these reviews into the merchant center. So again, once you've hit create feed, I'm just gonna go out of here because we're not creating the feed in this example. Once you've hit create feed, in the reviews feed section, you'll see your reviews feed will be created. Um, and then once it syncs, you'll then be able to go to reviews or all reviews here and you'll see your reviews being pushed into the merchant center and you'll see if you have any errors on these reviews. Again, if none of these are getting reflected in the merchant center, ensure that both the GTIN value from the review end as well as the product end, so the GTIN values from the products that are pushed into the merchant center, that GTIN value there, ensure that each product has got a GTIN value assigned to that. And we have got a separate video on troubleshooting that specific process, but that obviously should um, just going back to the review section, that should all be good to go there. Just to mention up at the top over here, as soon as you've set your reviews feed, or as soon as you've created your reviews feed, it'll say in review here, um, and it'll take a couple weeks for Google to review the reviews feed that you've just added to the Merchant Center before this little tick turns green, and obviously your reviews feed goes live. So just give that two weeks or so to, to get that approved and then that's pretty much the entire process. So that was a bit of a long one, but hopefully that was a help. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one.